Today we're speedrunning through dumb ways to die. You can probably guess what this game is about, but you might be asking, how can you even speedrun this game? And the answer is by getting to the first location, Melbourne Railway Station. After resetting our data, we can start our speedrun as soon as we click on play. Basically, in this game, you're trying to save these guys and make sure they don't die in dumb ways. Yeah, it's pretty obvious what you're trying to do. So like there's this guy who might drink too much of this liquid, but we make sure it stops at the right place and he grows hair. And you're basically gonna keep doing these mini games over and over again, making sure that all these people don't die. Like he could have got hit by a train, but we luckily saved him. This person, he's trying to run away from the fire. We can get him and now he doesn't have any fire as hair. So you can kind of see what the speed run is all about. Just trying to do all of these things as fast as possible. Like this guy who for some reason put a fork in a toaster oven, probably the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. But you know, it is what it is. For that one, we had to find out which one was a psychopath and not click on them. We needed the panda bear. He was a nice guy. These guys were trying to keep them away from this train. I don't know why they were literally standing on the rails. Doesn't seem like the greatest idea. This person spilled a bunch of sticky stuff. So we have to make sure that they aren't good. Why'd you wink at me like that? That was okay. Anyway, it's time for a throw up person again. One thing you might notice is as we're going through the game, it's getting faster and faster. So we want to do this in one single try. We don't want to mess any of this stuff up like this one where I'm a garbage bag running away from a car. You really can't make up these things like that. I just jump in a garbage truck. Anyway, it's time for tap with this guy again. He's nice and easy. All we got to do is tap. We can use both of our fingers, make it through that. And we're about halfway through the speed run. We do got a bit more to go like this washing machine guy, which we just make sure he stops being. Why do you put himself in there? Yeah, this game is kind of weird with the situations these characters put themselves in. But you know, I'm just going to keep going. And one thing you might notice is as we're going through, sometimes it just randomly gives me minus points. Like here, I got bad luck. So I lost 60 points for no reason at all. And I don't really understand why why the game feels like doing that, but I guess we kind of just have to deal with it. So this game is very obviously very luck dependent, and we're just trying to make sure that we can go past all the luck. We can help that guy. He had a bunch of bees all over him. I don't really know why. Like literally, he was just sitting by a beehive. What do you really expect to happen? And we have this tilt one again. This is one of my least favorite ones because it is very easy to mess up. I just have to make sure that my phone screen doesn't tilt too much. We get the weird wink. I still find that very weird. In this one, we're trying to dodge the cones again. Why is this car chasing after a garbage bag. Like you can go so many other places, but you're just chasing after. I just want to go to the garbage truck. It's where I belong. We have another one of these tapping ones. The mini games do get a little bit repetitive because there are only a certain amount of them, but that's nice for me because I don't have to learn too many and I can just keep doing these over and over again. Let's see. We have this tapping one. This is one of my favorite ones just because it's really fast. Like it's just a couple of taps and the person is saved. I mean, they might be in a, oh, we got this one. So I kind of just accept that I'm not going to win that one. We will get points because of a silver lining, but that one is just like impossible, especially when you're on faster speeds. And also we just poked a bear and got candy out of it. Please do not try poking a bear and hoping that you will get candy out of it. I promise it won't work kids at home. Also, we keep getting this bad luck that's making us get minus points. That's kind of just what happens with the speed run. We just have to adapt to it, do some more levels and just hope that we won't keep getting bad luck. Why did I choose to speed run this? I still don't know, but we only have about 300 points we still have to do. We just have to hope we get kind of good luck. We have all of these cones right here, our garbage bag that is just running away from them. Try not to hit any of these cones, but we make it to the garbage truck. Only 200 more points to go. Another one of my favorite ones where we can just tap all of these bees nice and easy. And the guy is saved. And it's literally just one more of these that I need to do. And of course it's going to be the tilt one. I just have to make sure I don't mess this up. Come on, dude. Give me that weird wink. I really appreciate it. And there we go. We made it to the end so I can quit out and we can call time. It did not count. It Okay, it did not count because I guess I didn't make it fully through. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? This is the saddest day of my life. Oh, I guess we'll just fully go through it now. Can I quit out? Okay, that's time. I can't believe I just lost time on that. That really just happened. But at least we finished the run. I guess that's okay. It was only a small time loss and no one has ever speed ran this game before. So that's actually world record. Someone's definitely gonna take it as soon as I publish this video, but I'm gonna enjoy my world record while I have it. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm them and I'd really appreciate it. Also subscribe to the channel. Only about 25% of the people who watch my channel are actually subscribed and that also helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. You know, why not just help me out? I'd really appreciate it. And finally, make sure you check out my limited time 1 million subscriber merch. It's only going to be available for a couple more days. So if you are interested, definitely go buy some, but enough shilling. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time.